All right, finally, um, kind of a good op-ed in the Washington Post, that's rare. Um, and, and this has to do with just the fact that in America today, you can't get anything done. Like, you can't get, you can't get, you can't build anything. You can't create anything. You can't make anything. And, you know, it's, it's, um, it's pathetic. This, to me, is a much bigger issue than whether Caitlyn Jenner is a man or a woman. Who the f cares? I don't. Um, much more interesting to me is, is the fact that we can't build any infrastructure. We can't uh, improve our own lives by improving the world around us, by, by building and creating. and Everything takes forever and it unbelievably costs. American infrastructure... It has fallen way behind other countries in the world, countries that are a lot poorer than us, because we can't get anything done. And this op-ed in the Washington Post actually illustrates an example of this. Now, granted, this is all government projects. Infrastructure in the U.S. is, is a government thing, has been at least since the 1930s. But at least in the old days, they got stuff done. On July 7, 1930, right, the Interior Secretary sent an order to Elwood Mead uh, approving or directing the, the beginning of the construction of the Boulder Dam. I mean, the project is stunning. It is the Hoover Dam as it stands today. Um, this was a year and a half after Congress already authorized the project, so it took a year and a half from Congress authorizing to actually breaking ground, record time. Uh, you know, this was complicated because you had to allocate water rights, you had to settle the financing, you had to find the workers. I mean, this is complicated. A year and a half is quick. By March 4th, 1931, right, um, the contracts were put out to bid for the actual building, and that process took one week. One week. By April, the contract had to go ahead, and in September, right? They in September sorry, September thirtieth, nineteen thirty-five, the dam was finished. Two years ahead of schedule, ahead of schedule. Four years to build the tallest dam at the time in the world. I don't know if you've ever been to Hoover Dam. You should go if you have an opportunity. It's in a magnificent civil engineering project construction. It costs $2 billion in today's dollars. Right? Take an example, a counter example today, the building of the New York 2nd Avenue subway line. This is a subway line that they've been talking about forever building, basically going from Harlem all the way down to Wall Street along 2nd Avenue. In 2000, the state's Metropolitan Transportation Authority allocated money to build a full-length subway line, right? That was in 2000. It took seven years, seven years, for the agency to obtain the financing, pass environmental review, and secure federal approval. Ground was finally broken in April 2007, seven years later. <laughs> in the same amount of time, the Hoover Dam was already most of the way up the walls of the canyon. It was almost complete. Construction of phase one, just phase one, which includes three stations and 1.8 miles of tunnel, only 1.8 miles of tunnel, it took 10 years, five years longer than expected, and cost about $4.5 billion, well over two times what the Hoover Dam costs. Right. Completing the whole 8.5 mile is expected to cost <coughs> about $17 billion. Though by the time this line is complete, which could be just in time for the return of Haley's comment, the article writes, who wrote this? I should give her credit. Megan McArdle. Megan McArdle. Um, she says, uh, you know, uh, anyway, $17 billion. Um, 
And they've just started the eminent domain process for phase two, which will run an additional mile and a half from 96 to 125th Street. Uh, so they'll have just over three miles done. Who knows, in another seven, nine, 12, 12 years? Unbelievable. So that's America today. These are things we should be concerned about. Can't build a subway. Can't build anything. They just approved a budget in Sacramento, the California state budget, balanced budget. The one thing they cut, the one thing they cut is a $30 billion project for a big civil engineering project to bring water, to better allocate water within the state. A project that's very much needed it, you know, it involves a tunnel, involves, but yeah, th this is what we used to do. That's how you prevent droughts. You take water from where it is to where it's supposed to be. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening, you get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.